Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. Apparently it hurts to think, they said. It actually hurts. Like, it hurts our head. Huh. Our brain. It's hard. It's hard work. <laughs> Thinking is hard, yes. There's a lot of jokes mm-hmm. that we can have about people that are apparently leading pain-free lives. <laughs> but that's not where I'm going with this. Good. We'll avoid thinking uh, because it is hard. Rethinking is hard. And that's what the word repent even means. And it's hard. We, but there's so much to be gained from it. There's so much. It makes for a better life when we do think. <laughs> I mean, and when we rethink, and Jesus keeps encouraging human beings to, re- wait a second, your way of thinking needs to be changed. Little reminder for all of us, we can be right. We can have the right position, the right take. We can be correct and be totally wrong at the same time. Mm. And that's because we get self-righteous. And if we're self-righteous about it, we might as well be wrong. If that makes any sense. It does. In other words, if I have not love, I'm just a bunch of noise. I can be right. I can I can speak with the tongues of angels, Paul wrote. So imagine this on, I don't know what the equivalent of that is on... Twitter, Facebook, or whatever, or X, or whatever it is, but I'm just a clanging symbol. I can be right, but if I'm not loving, I'm a bunch of noise. Just a reminder for you, and for me too, um, spirituality in the, in the Bible is not about feeling. It's not about feelings. It really isn't. We confuse those things all the time. If I feel this, then God's here. If I don't, he's left. Like, no, no, no. And that's good news, because... You might go years where you feel close to God and then years you don't. And it's not like God just left. Um, Actually, what it is in the Bible, the spirituality God's looking for is loyalty from us, even if we're not feeling it. It's like in a good marriage or friendship. You may not be overwhelmed with emotions, but you're still loyal. That's what that's that's the sweet spot. Thank you for listening to this program. If you're new to it, just to let you in on something. I was diagnosed years ago being on the autism spectrum, high functioning Mm -hmm. autism saw this study today that made me happy and i don't think it'll surprise you it's about how much people who are on the spectrum tend to like board games okay more than other people right and uh they explain why i was like i I know that's true Mm -hmm. but they said it's just it's it helps socially takes pressure off ah because there's something socially we're doing together and we get it we understand it you have you have the this thing that's set up right and like okay i got it that makes sense did Instead it mention like, anything about winning needing to win crushing little children at games i think that's that just a me should, thing that's just you but okay, i really enjoy it. doing that got, <laughs> got a little secret i want to tell you as you're listening right now okay we know that because people are on vacations and whatnot mm-hmm. this time of year that we have a little bit fewer listeners across the board <laughs> in radio right. yeah the people listening right now uh-huh. includes you you're the best ones. Uh, you are. If we, we had to you. pick one no, to love stick you more. around, yeah, it would be you. We love you more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually do better radio right during this time. Because? Because of... you deserve it. Ah, the other see. people don't, frankly. So <laughs> I'm so wishy-washy. <laughs> I'm intentionally worse the rest of the year. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I know it can be tough for some people. They're like, I, yeah, I can't really, I don't believe the Bible because I've gone through some stuff. And I, how could that happen? To me, the stuff that's that's happened to me. But the thing is, the Bible's really honest about bad things happening to everybody, not just like the arch villains. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's not based on whether you're a good person or a bad person. That's that's not it. Bad things do happen to people who are good, upstanding citizens or whatever. Hmm. Uh, but the fact is, God is saying, "I'm with you in this," and please trust me that this is going somewhere, that there's a, there is a story, there's a larger narrative, there's a, there's a backstory here, and it will make sense. I'm always amazed by these things when I'm looking for stuff to talk about on the show, but I have to look on the internet, uh-huh. you know, news things. Eat these eight foods after a workout is the headline. Okay. Eat these <laughs> eight foods. Together? After a workout. Okay, so one workout, eight foods. 
After you work out, you need chocolate milk, a sweet potato, a green smoothie, yogurt, avocado toast, trail mix, <laughs> salmon salad, and then fruit salad with a cheese stick. That should do it. That, that's quite the meal. I did it. workout meal. I ate my eight <laughs> foods, like you said. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna shock you. Uh, I'm a shock jock. One of those people. In, yeah, um, yeah, sure. So <laughs> I shock you though with just being incredibly interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, never thought about it that way. Yeah. So I think you'll like this. Okay. You know, you can get an eight inch pizza or a 16 inch pizza. Right. If you just do the math, you should always get the 16 inch pizza because it's four times bigger than an eight inch pizza. Well, everyone doesn't want that much pizza. That's why you get the smaller size. That's a great point. But I mean, like, just, <laughs> but in terms of just, you could eat a, you could eat Actually, Brent, a you quarter can stop of here. it. I'm already shocked. Save, okay. I'm shocked for okay, so thanks. many reasons. Save, you can so, yeah. save the rest in a bag in your box <laughs> we, and take yes, it home. Brent. Hey, thank you. America's Christian Credit Union. Uh, honored to partner with you. Amped about it. Yeah. Um, if you want to join, by the way, you're listening. Like, what is this? You, can, it's, you should look into it, honestly. Uh, like, for savings or checking or, like, ATM stuff like just banking. Yeah. It's brilliant. Uh, but you can find out more. Just go to branthansoncom slash ACCU. Thankful to have sponsors for the podcast. It helps a lot. One is a movie. Now it's the Forge movie. It comes out August 23rd. This is kind of a continuation of the War Room. If yeah, you saw that's that what movie. I heard. It's a lot of same actors. What I like about it is the, the themes, which is discipleship and like helping young guys. Mm -hmm. Mentor. So, yeah, not a lot of movies about that. So I appreciate them tackling that. It comes out again August 23rd exclusively in theaters. You can go to theforgemovie.com if you want more info. They had the TV on at the gym, and it was one of those home shows. Okay, where they renovate? Yeah. Yeah. Lady comes in. She's got the tool belt on. She's like, yeah, we're going to knock this down. And, mm -hmm. and the person who owns the house is just standing there. Like, yeah. Okay, okay nodding. Right, sure, sure. There's like this implicit trust. Well, you know you've made a mess of it. That's why she's here. Right? Yeah, I guess so. And, yeah. and you trust it's going to be better. Right. Huh. I was thinking about that with, with God, who we know wants to renovate our hearts. He, mm -hmm. he does. He wants to change our personality, like renovate our personalities. Yeah. We should trust him. He knows how to do this. So we need, he tells us how to do it, mm -hmm. too. Like, do this. Here's how to, like, we should trust him on this. This thing they do on those shows, right? Yeah. Is they go in and assess why this is not okay. Yeah, right. And the person has to kind of like, go, okay, be yeah. okay doing uh, that and going whatever through you that. Want. And, and, the, and the funniest shows, but the most annoying ones, are when the people have their own ideas or they will know that's because this or no, that's because that. And the renovation person has to fight you. You're the one with the raggedy house. <laughs> Why am I fighting you on... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're bringing me into what yeah i remember being in nutrition class and the lady saying people were raising their hands and this i'm not being mean because i'm you know it, this is, we were all there because we needed help with nutrition and they're telling her well no not that if we eat this and that and that and at one point she did say i'm confused on why some of you ha seem to have so much information like if you know more than I do, then what are you doing in this Why are you in class? This, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, doctors have to deal with that all the time. I'm sure. Like you, you clearly have a you have a condition here that's could be terminal. Mm -hmm. And here's what to do. Well, I don't know. You know, I yeah. read online. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say with WebMD, all of yeah. a sudden we've all received okay. our certificates. But then you don't need me. Then. You have WebMD. <laughs> That's the that's the <laughs> right. renovation I've seen where people right. are like, you got a bunch of stuff in this room. We got to clear all this out. It reminds me, mm -hmm. like Extreme Home Makeover, where they had that show, they would do the big reveal at yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Chip and Joanna Gaines, I think they do that too. They, they would do that, reveal. yes. Yep, yep. You ever see one where people are like, oh, no. Yes, it's one of my favorite stories. It's the very first one was <laughs> <laughs> called Trading Stories. Places oh, or yeah, trading, yeah, trading spaces. spaces. Oh, yes, spaces, yeah. yes. So that was the very first one of these shows that I remember, <laughs> right? Here's why I remember it. My cousin Crystal was going through her first bout of cancer, and she had to move in with my aunt, and she lived in the attic, and I would go over there every day and sit in the attic. And we said, she loves renovations, things like that, decorating everything. Yeah. And we said, have exactly what you said, have you ever seen one of these where someone was like, I don't like this? 
And doggone it, if that episode we were watching, because I would go over there huh. and watch it, and the lady, they do the big reveal, and she just stares, and, like, tears start, like, falling. And they're like, oh. Yeah, well, no, because it, it had never happened before. And they were like, well, do you not, is there something that you don't like? And then she becomes very dramatic and runs out of the house, and the husband has to run after her. Wow. And, yeah, it and was, that made the show. It was really that's cool. something. That's that's why when you asked that, I, I very specifically remember. There is a lot, there are a lot of spiritual parallels. Here. Yeah, there are. There like really are. The the thing about bringing somebody in and then thinking you actually know better. Yes. Even though it's falling apart, it right. could be, be obviously falling apart. We could do, you could do a, a sketch like that yes. where you got it's it's all falling. Things are swinging, hanging, <laughs> like sparks but flying. Then it, you bring him like the expert comes in. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna do this and that, and then no. No, no, no. And then the expert leaving, going, yeah. well, I'm not here for the you. Then. Right. I'm here for people who have houses that need need help. Yeah, that's, that is exactly right. Yeah. And, and then I think the other thing is for us that can be a detriment is on those half hour, it, now it's taken longer than that, right? But half hour, big reveal. That's not really the life of discipleship, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. That right. renovation takes time, and it's yeah. incremental, and there isn't always a, like, yeah. ta-da. C.S. Lewis did talk about I'm sure we've mentioned it, but he, he talked about this mm -hmm. analogy where it's like, you think you're going to let God move in and move your furniture around, mm -hmm. that, and that'll be the extent of his <laughs> thing. The next right. thing you hear is like that wall's coming down, right. and now the whole house is coming. Now he's building something completely. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. I love that. You see these things all the time. If you have to look at internet stuff or whatever, it's like what your sandwich, if your favorite sandwich says about your personality, that kind of stuff. I don't. <laughs> they literally had that. Okay. Ham and cheese sandwich lovers are curious and have a wide range of interests. Ah. Tuna salad. Natural leaders and driven to succeed in both work and personal relationships. No, tuna salad's gross. Chicken salad sandwich people are well-adjusted and empath. They're always complimentary. What's a BLT? Is that in oh, there? Oh, devoted all to all areas of their lives, work, home, and relationships. They're always That's these, actually true. But that's that's the phenomenon I'm going to point <laughs> uh, out. Okay. It's always like this generic step. Oh, that's me. Well, that's funny because if they don't have a sandwich that says you're a jerk and you need a lot of counseling. Well, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Why not? Turkey sandwich lovers are remarkably self-absorbed and delusional. They should really repent right now. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com.